What's up, everybody? Uh, I have these videos that I need to get out already. I've been holding on to them. Uh, so the next three videos, including this one that you're going to see right now, are together. They're part of a little like series. It's going to be diagnosis, uh, prep, and installation. We're working on a walk-in cooler that is in pretty rough shape it's pretty old and we were working with a customer and they wanted to just replace the inside so that's what's coming up and i like i said i've been holding on to these videos for a little while so they're a little old uh bear with me and i might have to voice over some of it and uh, just explain what's going on and we're going to get these videos out probably against my better judgment uh, I do make some mistakes and I will probably get roasted I'm not perfect I do I do have mistakes or um, I screw up time to time but on this channel I just show it as it is and I've been told uh, by some other guys, some younger guys, that they like seeing that because they've been embarrassed or just like made fun of online, on Instagram or anything like that to the point where they take down some of their stuff. Like they're proud of their work, somebody rips them apart and they take it down. So on this channel, it's, it's just vlogs uh like day in the life work real life scenarios i don't i try not to edit out my mistakes or anything like that and um like i said i'm not perfect uh that's what this channel is is supposed to be about that's what i'm trying to show what it's really like working out there not everything is perfect uh installations you don't catch everything you just do the best to your abilities and you learn after each call. So that's where we're at on that. Um, like I said, if, if it's, if I get roasted, it's fine, whatever. Uh, it already happened to me on Instagram. A lot of guys were on my side. I appreciate if you saw that stuff and I just don't want any, anything like negative. We're all here to, to help each other and do the best work possible and that's what I want to, uh, to show that's what I've been showing that's what we're about here and going forward just so you know
All right, so it seems to me that we found why we we're low on refrigerant here. We're gonna have several micro leaks. Now keep in mind, I could repair all of these leaks. Uh, the TXV is not copper to copper, so I don't think I had any special rods to do that one uh, when I had this call. So I didn't bother, but again, TXV joint is leaking. We have several leaks on these U-bends. And I didn't even check the other side. Uh, the coil in the back, all the fins are in rough shape. Uh, the fins are like falling apart. Uh, they let it go without any maintenance and it got super dirty. It's also a pizza chain. They keep a lot of uh, acidic products in here so it kind of like ate away at the at the evaporator now they've known that they needed this unit for a long time already so they were okay with getting a new one Now, in order to get them going, because obviously they're at 50 degrees and we do have to get their new unit, schedule it and all that, we're gonna go ahead and do the condenser motor change out. And I'm gonna use a, a universal. Very simple, we're gonna fish through our wiring, wire it up for the voltage we need and I like to keep these Fasco 9721s. You see them a lot in my videos. They work in a lot of applications and that's just the way I like to do um, these motor swaps with basically replacement or universal ports. Uh, my supply house doesn't always have OEM and I don't want to order. Uh, as long as you match it up good and it's the same size, I will use it. Now, if there's a special fit, I will get OEM. And uh, in here, I did see something interesting. They had pressure fan cycles. So I'm gonna wire it up how I need to, but I do have to look into replacing uh, some of those fan cycles, or at least one, the one that's bypassed. But we're just getting them going. Here's our motor, like I said, wire it up for what you need, the voltage, and cap everything else, cut whatever you don't need, and make sure you have proper rotation. I like that these uh, are reversible. Just make sure you do cover them, insulate them, don't leave anything exposed. Uh, you don't want to uh, short it out or shorten the life of the motor. Usually these last me a good while. So after this we're going to put it all together and I will top off the unit just to get them by. This was a weekend call and uh, as soon as uh, the week comes uh, by we will order and come in and schedule the replacement. And like I said, I appreciate everybody who's who supported and been on my side on different things. Uh, I'm thankful to be where I'm at. I, I try to do, you know, my best work in the given time that I have. Uh, sometimes I work late. We're not super, super busy like we are, but I wouldn't consider it because sometimes I don't work late. It's just some days that I work late. And uh, just I try to knock out as many calls as I can in the time that I've been given. Considering uh, other circumstances, uh, like with family and, and things outside of work. So 
just know that everybody has their own story. Everybody has their own situations. And what I want to show you is what I do on a daily basis. So that's what you'll see here. And I really do like really, really appreciate uh, anybody that's here and watches all the videos. Um, that helps a lot. Uh, wasn't sure if I'd, if I'd make it. So if you're new or if you haven't yet, subscribe, like. Easiest way to support is just to watch uh, the videos. I do get paid now for the ads. So if they're not too long, don't skip them. Uh, and there's other stuff, like I'll leave links in the um, description for other ways to help, but that's not necessary. Just you watching and being subscribed is a major help and every bit helps. So yeah, uh, I'm not a how-to channel, never wanted to be. You'll see my service calls and every now and then some tips. So if you enjoy that, stay tuned.